Hey guys, it's VLPS13. Now this is a serious topic about wearing your mask. And it's gonna get more serious after I explain the importance of the mask. So let me just explain that to you. And if you're not comfortable with anything, I'll wait for the disclaimer. Okay. <clears throat> the importance of wearing a mask is that even though you're not sick or you don't show symptoms of COVID-19, doesn't mean you don't carry it. It's an airborne it's an airborne virus, so that's why we wear a mask. It's not for our own safety, it's for everyone else's. So if we don't spread it and make it worse. Especially to people who have weaker immune systems and have major health problems that could really be a danger to them. Like myself. I can yeah, I can die from it. Um anyway, on to the more serious thing I wanted to just rant about for a little bit. Now regarding, this is regarding a fight with a friend I had, and it, I got, it got pretty serious very quick, so um, if you're not comfortable with death, I uh, leave. <laughs> Sorry about any background noise you may hear, I just felt it was really important to make this. So, yesterday... I tried to explain to my best friend for I don't know how many years since sixth grade and I'm 20 um, the importance of wearing a mask she was an anti-masker she is an anti-masker she's still alive and I tried to explain it to her trying to throw science at her trying to explain it scientifically but she tried throwing science back at me however I knew that science was wrong because I'm not dumb I'm not calling her dumb. She has her strong suits. She's smarter than me in other ways. But honestly, I was really good at science. And she didn't even, and she called me stupid. Just because I have so processing issues and I struggle with people and school doesn't mean I'm stupid. Just because I am on the autistic spe spectrum doesn't mean I'm stupid. And that's what it felt like she was discriminating for. She wouldn't even try to listen. She wouldn't try to understand. She stood by her opinion more than anything. Which I'm pretty sure she just made a decision on without doing any research first. I think if she did any research, she was looking on a conspiracy theory. And not all conspiracy theories are real. In fact, most of them are probably not. Honestly, I love conspiracy theories. The one she told me, I, I heard about it. And I don't really believe that it's totally false either. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't make an effort to try and do as we're told so the virus doesn't spread. She said that the government made this disease to lower down the population, make things easier for them. And they're trying to scare us into doing what they want us to do. Like wear a mask and wash our hands and self-isolate for 14 days if we've been in contact with someone in co with COVID. Now, tell me how stupid that sounds. Be honest. That is... Oh my gosh. Just... Frick. Just because... Just, just because that might be true doesn't mean we shouldn't listen. You are risking people's lives. Now, I'm going to address something very heavy from my past. Back in high school, I lost a friend. She died. I think she fell asleep under a truck while she was drunk. So this is why you don't underage drink. <laughs> um... That was the first death I've ever dealt with in my life. And literally the day before that she died, I unfriended her on Facebook because her posts were too inappropriate and my family could see them. So, I've blamed myself. I know that's stupid AF, I know, I know, but it's just how I felt. I felt responsible for it. It was a shock to me when I heard the news. It's never happened to me before. 
it was a shock. I remember being shook and I went to the wellness center and sat there for a minute and then uh, suddenly I broke into tears. I was sent home. I was affected really badly and I wasn't the only one, a lot of people were. But the thing was, I blamed myself for it. I felt responsible. I don't know why, that doesn't even make any sense, but I did. And I just don't, I just didn't want my friend to feel responsible for people's deaths because it is a terrible feeling. Being an anti-masker spreads the disease to people who can't actually physically handle that disease and die from it. And whether you like it or not, that their death would be on your hands and you won't even know it. That is why it's so important and I just didn't want her to feel that way when she realized it. I try to put it in perspective, like what if I died from it? I'm, I'm, I thought for sure maybe she'd change her mind, but honestly she didn't even poke at what I said. Like she was ignoring it. And I wonder if she even cares about me at all. I don't know. I have no idea. Honestly, she always was kind of like that, actually. Saying and acting like she knows everything. <sighs> Trying to tell me my mom raises me wrong, but she doesn't. My mom works hard. My mom writes forms for people with disabilities every single day. And she gets so much requests that she could barely keep up. She's one person for Pete's sake. And she still has to raise a little girl that is five years old and her a struggling adult, um, young adult uh, daughter and her teenage son. It's not easy for her. And I tried explaining that to her. She doesn't have a big family like mine. So, yeah, and it peeved me off because I never once, never once insulted her family. Never. Ever. I never even insulted her. So, the fact that she brought that up, I was considering at that point to stop being friends with her. I didn't because we've been friends for so long and I didn't want to lose a friend like that. But then the whole argument about masks came up. I told her that 20,000 people a day die in America alone. South America. And she said, so what? People die every day regardless. Let's put this in perspective. Okay. Before the virus, sure, maybe 20,000 people died in the world a day, maybe more, depending. But with the virus, millions of people die every day. People are losing their families, their friends, and she doesn't give a freaking crap. At least that's how she made it sound. She made it sound like she doesn't care that people are dying. which is what really peeved me off. I couldn't take it. I can't have a friend like that. So I broke things off with her. Sure, it may sound dumb that we broke up over masks, but honestly, if she's not going to care about other people's lives, if she's not going to try her best to help others, and put up with a stupid freaking mask, then I don't want to be a part of that. Her science was flawed. It didn't make sense. She doesn't understand how vaccines work, apparently. Quite honestly, I'm not, I know I'm not stupid, but when she called me dumb, it really hurt. I've been struggling how, with, how, with how much I'm allowed to be intelligent if that makes sense. All my life, I couldn't really figure out how intelligent I was. 
it was difficult for me to figure out how smart I was. I didn't understand certain things, which made me feel really dumb, and I understand other things that made me feel very smart. So I struggle with it, it's an obvious battle. One of the things that I'm pretty confident in when it doesn't come to chemistry is science. I was good in science. I was kind of good in math when it wasn't in uh, main classes. I was good in English too. Main thing I really struggled with was social studies, um, or I guess history. But no, I know what I'm talking about. Science was one of my best classes. I'm not stupid. I'm not. I know I'm not. So I thought she knew that. I thought she respected my smart, like how smart I was. I thought she respected that I do have knowledge. But honestly, I'm starting to think that she thought I was this helpless little girl who didn't know anything about the world at all. Which, that is not true. And I find it insulting that that's how she viewed me. So there's more to it than the stupid masks. It's how she treated me with the whole conversation. She didn't try to respect my decision. She didn't try to understand. She didn't care because she thought I was stupid. So that's why I stopped being friends with her. She's toxic in my life. I can't have that. Sure, I might cry about it later. I haven't yet, but I might. I feel like a little teary-eyed right now, but I'm not sure. Who knows when I'll burst into tears about it, but right now is not that time. Because I know that I had to cut her out of my life. And it's hard to deal with because I've been friends with her for so long. But sometimes people are just too much. Sometimes that one friend you have is too toxic for you. Sometimes they affect you and make you feel bad about yourself without you realizing it. And that's when you have to cut them out. So that was my story with the whole situation. If you stuck around this long, I appreciate you listening. I, uh, usually would not bring uh, my personal issues onto the internet because I don't want to make other people feel bad. I don't want to trigger people. I don't want people to make it f seem like I'm looking for attention. Because I'm not. I just wanted to rant. I wanted to let you guys know the importance of wearing a mask. And I wanted you to know that not all friends in your life are always going to be there for you and look at you the way you think they do. And sometimes that's when you have to cut them out. Anyway, my throat hurts from talking so much and my hand hurts from holding my pet shop like this so long. So thanks again for listening. I know it was a long one. And it really means a lot. And I hope I've helped people understand the situation and how serious this virus is. Stay safe, wear your mask, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.